Jorgen De Castro and Sean Asher in the heavyweight division. Now, I'm going to say it right now. They're feeding Sean Asher to Jorgen De Castro. Sean Asher has not fought in the last two years until fighting Steve Mowry, where, you know, he got knocked out in 55 seconds of the very first round. Before that... He beat four and seven, six and seven, one and seven, eight fifteen, two and eight, two and three. I mean, come on, guys, come on, guys. He, he they're they're feeding him to him. I I already know he's forty two years old. He's just yeah. Come on, guys. Jorgen De Castro is a, a UFC caliber guy. Uh, I I don't think he's the best UFC fighter by any means. He lost to Greg Hardy, Carlos Felipe, and then Jari's Daniel, but he did beat Justin Taffa, and he knocked him out in the first round. So on any given night, he can beat a UFC caliber fighter. Uh, but still, I do believe Jorgen has more power. He's got more speed. He's got takedown defense. I I don't really believe Sean Asher has really any chance here. But again, it is the heavyweight division. He's got to knock win in his second to last fight so he you never know he could just start throwing and throwing and throwing and get a knockout in the fight it's heavyweight so you never know but uh, I really do believe they're just kind of feeding the older uh, slightly smaller fighter as well and just trying to build the Oregon Castro's name inside of Eagle FC I mean Eagle FC they're trying to build some of the UFC fighters and Bellator fighters that some of our USA fans do know um, like John Howard, Ray Bohr, Rashad Evans, Sergey Karate of the Marcus Jackson, Luis Razabo, Jorgen De Castro, Yarman Espanov, all of these guys have, have like fought inside the UFC, fought inside of Bellator and things like that. So they're definitely trying to push Jorgen De Castro. Not going to win for Jorgen De Castro in the first or second round. Easy prediction in the heavyweight division.